Hey YouTube, alright Mick here. Okay, I've got a new backpack. Um, it's the new backpack from Pentagon called the Pentagon Trojan Backpack. I'm going to show you a video on a few of the specs and what I basically have inside the bag. So just quickly, uh, it's in Pentacam colour. I've added a few pouches um, to the bag. Yes, they are Cody Brown, or brown, whatever you want to call it, desert colour. But I'm waiting for Pentagon to come out with the actual Pentagon pouches, so I can colour match the bag. But uh, just quickly, the height is about 17 inches. The width, where it's packed out, is about 12 inches. And going this way, is about yeah about 11 inches okay so that's just the dimensions of it there um, now what I've packed it out with is typically what I would take on an overnighter and I have decked it out for that purpose to be an overnighter you can you know take components away and make it a day pack no problem um, probably suit a day pack uh, very well but also suits an overnighter very well uh, zippers are very strong. Um, I don't know if they're YKK, but they're a particular Pentagon zipper. I can't remember the name. I'll try to put the name on the link, but they are very, very strong zippers. Very, very smooth. Um, you know, opening and, and closing. Um, yeah, it's just a great backpack. I love the colour, and uh, unfortunately, I wish uh, they had the Pentacam pouches to come with it, but they don't at the moment. But they should be coming in. All right, on the bottom, you've got uh, two straps here to obviously strap a bedroll or wool blanket or whatever you want, tarp, whatever. So the way I've decked it out is um, I'm getting more and more fond of bringing an axe with me when I go to bush. This is the Holtifers Classic uh, Trekking Axe. Um, beautiful, beautiful axe. I mean, look at that from my hand to where my, you know, to there. It's just perfect. It fits me really, really well. I've wrapped some artificial sinew around it there just to just because to protect it a little bit and give me some grip there. Um, just a great axe and yeah, uh, what can I say? It's just this complements my kit basically. I mean, on my person, what would I carry along with this bag? Um, I've been rocking them with the the Kizzle Supreme uh, survival kit, obviously taking this apart and put my own stuff in there I think I did a video on that um, but yeah that just fits nice on my belt there and uh, that's my survival kit right there and I've been using the Joker SWAT knife a lot lately uh, I know I haven't done videos I know I haven't posted any videos lately um, just I guess lack of you know it's being lazy I guess but I have been doing some trips and uh, I just haven't been filming them sorry but um, yeah this SWAT knife is uh, becoming one of my favourite uh, cutting tools to take when I go out bush. It's just small, it's light, it's sharp, it's long enough to, to be a survival knife if you had to. It, you know, straps to my, my side there and doesn't get in the way. I tend to sleep with this knife when I'm out bush, um, if I'm on my back or on this side of my body. Um, it's just a great, great knife and with an axe, man, I'm, I'm rocking and rolling, there's nothing wrong with that. So, axe, knife, and survival kit is on my, well, these two are on my person. This is strapped to the bag, but you know, if I do go out for a scout, I usually hold this in my hand and walk around or slip it through my belt loop or something. Great axe. And I saw Dave Canterbury do some videos on Holtifer's axes, so I'm glad he did that because they are a very, very good brand. Okay, so, what have we got? Let's move the axe. And move this stuff off the table. Okay. So uh, again, specs. You've got uh, two holes here to put the the hose through for a water bladder. At the back, you've got um, a compartment here to put your water bladder in. And you know me, I don't like water bladders, so I tend to put my shelter on the back here. You've got nice padding here to. Uh, give you air through your back so you're not sweating um, just a very well thought out design you've got molly everywhere in the bag 
as you can see I've mollied this this pack this uh, pouch to it one two three four five rows of mollies one two three four five six column of molly molly and on the side here you've got some all molly down there straps are about well, I think it starts off with about three inches here then goes to about two and then goes back to three so very very comfy uh, strapping and you've got like side molly here also d-ring d-ring sternum sternum strap there no belt strap not needed really but if you want to you can you've got the uh, belt uh, uh, things there uh, nice my uh, memory ran out there so nice sturdy grab handle and uh, we'll go into the pouches I've got my Southern Cross survival morale patch there right there love it okay so in this pouch here um, I've got a compass a monocular my uh, fire kit okay uh, a candle and lighter and my Pathfinder 6 inch fire steel highly recommend this it may produces so much sparks it's unbelievable uh, you can buy this from Dennis at Survival Supplies Australia I highly recommend it so that means pretty much all I carry in this uh, pocket here just something I need to quickly grab and you know and use okay in this pouch here I've just pretty much got my Australian Army uh, mess kit, just a sock to keep it all together, and some olive oil. And that's pretty much it. And then in this kit, I've got some soups and other kind of stuff in there, rags and stuff like that. Okay. Okay, so you've got one admin pocket here, and it's, uh, I love it actually. It, it really organizes your stuff very, very well. Okay, opens up um, 100, 180 degrees, uh, clam shape, and you can see it has elastic to, you know, put all your items in there. It's got two mesh pockets here, if you can see that, uh, where you can store some gear. I'll quickly just, you probably can't see that, but there you go there. But here I've just got some key essentials that I might want to grab and it's organized really well so here I've got some spare reading glasses uh, I've got a chisel why I don't know I just have it because I think it could be useful I've just got an old torch that I've converted into a fishing kit I've got my Sawyer Mini with uh, the little bag and the filter there I've got about seven transpiration bags I've got my Dianova uh, sharpening steel there little opener a little black texture and just like a you know screwdriver set here and then in the uh, in the molly here I have my uh, strop with my DC4 Falconhaven sharpening system there plus just a, uh, a handkerchief and the other one I've got my uh, hair kit being my speedy stitcher Actually, love this thing. Got the Bushman. Can't go anywhere without the Bushman, especially this time of year. It's uh, pretty much summer, I guess, so you need that. And I've got my open all folding saw. Okay. Absolutely love this folding saw. It, it does damage to anything you cut. Yes, it's not very long, but you know, for three inches, maybe four inches, um, it does a job, and that's all I need. So that's in the uh, admin pouch here and this bag has two admin pouches so this is the small one okay okay in the next pocket which is here and all these admin pockets or all pockets open up to 180 degrees okay clam shape which I love so we open this one up okay and again you've got like an admin kind of style pouch there uh, mesh pocket there and you've got one one large mesh pocket there with a zipper so you can put stuff there so in the uh, large mesh pocket here I've just got um, just this kind of organizer pouch which is more 
notepad and pens and stuff like that just so I can take some notes it's got two notepads and pens and, and all that kind of stuff so that stays okay so in this mesh pocket here I have just a uh, champion tin which I've made into a candle okay four wick candle and I would carry my headlamp in here but it's in another bag at the moment so it'll be my candle and headlamp right there this black pouch here is just dedicated to batteries so uh, triple A's uh, my still camera batteries um, yeah, little CR 123A batteries for my other torch just double A's just batteries I need for my uh, torches and stuff like that uh, this one here is dedicated to repair again, so um, just got my little sewing kit there with some husky tape. Okay, so repairs for me is a, a key component to going out bush. Got my titanium spoon. I've got a little pen torch. Okay, I've got like a little. Uh, wild turkey flask nothing in it I'm deciding what to put in this either vodka or olive oil I'm not too sure I already got some olive oil in in my other pouch so I think I'll put some vodka in there eh? so uh, put some vodka in there you never know warm yourself up good for uh, washing wounds and stuff like that um, I've got another compass here the uh, Atka compass love this compass with fluoro green very very accurate um, you've got these little uh, things here to put keys or whatever. I've just got one of these little lights that you can twist so I can see what's in my bag at night if I'm looking around. Uh, I've got, you know, another pocket here. I've got some more transpiration bags there. And that's all that's pretty much in there. I love transpiration bags, you know. If you get lost out there, you can always rely on transpiration bags. I've got my Pentacon gloves and the other zipper pocket there that's pretty much it okay so just keeping it simple and basic i'm sick of bringing too much gear which probably at the end of the day i've probably still got too much gear in here but um hey i don't know i'm trying to pack lighter shake that there that's it so that's all that's in uh that admin pouch there spoon back mention in this pouch here I've just got my med kit I'm not gonna go through it but med kit snake bite wraps all that kind of stuff here I've got just the sun a sunglass case to protect my sunglasses and in this one I've got my Stanley stainless steel water bottle okay right, so in the main compartment which again opens 100 180 degrees clamshape okay so you've got two mesh pockets here and one main compartment here. I'll bring you over. Okay, so you've got one big main compartment here. So I've just got my uh, GI canteen the stove, my hammock, my Pentagon poncho, which can double up as a, uh, a shelter. I've got my food bag with just some food, need to probably add some more food in there for an overnighter, but there's a decent amount of food in there. Uh, got my um, Lynx hooks, which are great for setting up um, your tarps. Okay, then in the mesh pocket I've just got a, a buff and some paracord in there. And that is pretty much it. And then in this pocket here, I've just got my hygiene kit being a toothbrush, some um, sun, uh, sunscreen. Plastic bags, uh, distant, uh, what do you call it? Hand wash, some wet ones, and toothpaste, and lip balm. And that's it. Okay, 
Okay, so that's pretty much all that I take for an overnighter in this bag. And um, I took this out when I went hunting and used it as my main kind of go-to bag. Obviously I had my clothes and stuff in my other bag, but um, you know, you could fit, you know, light clothing. I've decked this out to be a summer bag because it is summer here now. But it's supposed to be autumn, or sorry, spring, but um, it's really summer. So, uh, yeah, packs in here nice and neat. And, uh, yeah, Bob's your uncle. Everything fits in here nice and comfy. There's probably a little bit more room in there to fit maybe a jacket or something like that. Um, you know, other things, but uh, plenty of room. Very smooth zippers and not too heavy. The straps are comfortable. Um, as I said at the back here, I do carry my Oscam Hoochie. Fits perfectly in there. And that's it, guys and girls. So uh, I'll cut this video now because I know it's going to be probably be a long video. But the Trojan uh, backpack by Pentagon, great bag. I'll uh, stick this bag on my website now, and um, yeah, check it out. It's pretty good. I think it comes in this Pentacam, or it does come in Pentacam, obviously, and black. That's the only two colours it comes in. So thanks for watching. Cheers.